from the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C. All-American News brings you our people's contribution to America and freedom. Under the rotation system of leaves, G.I.s in Burma get set. The happy lads who are going to get furloughs have been over in the India-Burma War Theater for 35 months of hard work. Here, United States Signal Corps cameramen catch the boys getting their final orders. And then it's off for home sweet home. These men help put through the leader road gouged out of rough, rocky terrain. It was a dangerous job, and a tough one. But now, so long Burma. They've packed up the troubles in their old kit bags, and the band plays goodbye. Here, Negro and white civic organizations are sponsoring a lecture. The speaker, Dr. W.E.B. Du Bois. The scene is Denver, about 2,000 attending. Dr. Du Bois reported on the San Francisco Conference, which he attended as a consultant for the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People. Edward Washington, a mail carrier of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, has been a pigeon fancier for 35 years. He has won 700 trophies for his rare bird. A prize-winning lace blondinette. Mr. Washington is known nationally as a judge of pigeons. Here he has a fine racing bird ready for flight. He is one of the few of his race who go in for pigeon breeding as a hobby. He has actually made a career of it. Here he welcomes a brand new family. This flock of rare specimens is going off to a show. American leader, Mrs. Bethune. Honoring her on her 70th birthday, a drive was started in Washington to raise $55,000 for the National Council of Negro Women, of which she is president. The drives from now until July 10th. from Paris to Chicago. Throngs waited the arrival at the airport. General Mark Clark, hero of the European theater of war. 50 GIs accompanied him. Sergeant Cheney of Chicago. Mayor Kelly extends the city's official welcome to the gallant men. Lieutenants Jefferson and Loving, a soldier and a gentleman. Crowds congregated all along the line of march to the loop. The downtown area was entered by way of Michigan Boulevard along the lake front. Army rolling stock was included in the impressive parade. The 
17-gun salute heralded the arrival downtown. The parade ended at the Congress Street Plaza for ceremony. Sergeant Love, one of Clark's boys. A huge platform was erected. From this point, General Clark addressed the great mass of people. His speech was broadcast by all the networks. He urged the nation not to relax, stressing the fact that the war is only half won. He said all his boys were eager to get into the battle against the Japs and wipe them off the map. He paid a special tribute to the Negro men in his command. These boys won't come back. Taps sound in honor of the fallen heroes. Buddies stand by. United States Signal Corps cameras record the solemn ceremonies conducted in Italy. The chaplain of the famous 92nd Division. A wreath is laid on a grave. Tribute is paid to those who gave their lives for liberty. This has been a presentation of the Library of Congress. Visit us at loc.gov.